Hey there, so in my last video I mentioned how I thought the board source unicorn was a bit more user friendly thanks to its use of via or vile to make live changes on the board. Now I mentioned that I was aware of ZMK Studio but I hadn't used it just yet, uh, but now it just so happens that I used it. So I wanted to kind of show how you'd set up uh, ZMK Studio on the Typer Active board. So let's get into it. All right, so right now I have the Typer Active corn connected through USB. Now if you're using the desktop application, you can connect either using Bluetooth or the USB. But if you're using uh, the web application, then you can only connect using USB. Now there is just one thing you need to do to get it ready for ZMK Studio. So as you can tell right now, I'm on the web app and I can try connecting through USB and you can see no devices are found, even though it's connected through USB. Okay, I'll hit cancel. Uh, maybe we should refresh the page. Still nothing. All right, and that's simply because we're just using old firmware. So let's go to the Active website. Go to help, documentation. We're gonna go to build guides, corn wireless, firmware. So in my case, I have the nice view, so I'm gonna download both the left and the right halves. All right, now I've already downloaded them, so I'm just gonna pull them up. Cool, and there they are. So we're gonna flash the board. To flash the board, you just press the reset button twice. One, two. And this screen should come up. Perfect, so I'm just gonna drag over the left side. Cool. Left side's done. Do the same to the right side. One, two. Drag over the right side. Ooh. All right, and there we go. And now we should be ready to use ZMK Studio. So let's take a look and see if that worked. So if I go to ZMK Studio, let's refresh the page. All right, so like USB. Oh, <laughs> I gotta switch to the left side. All right, let's do that one more time. Select USB and there we go, COM9, connect, and there we go. Now we can make live changes on the board just like you would on a QMK board using VR or Vial. So for example, let me change this Q into an L All right, now if I press Q, it's an L. Simple as that. All right, and so like I mentioned before, on the desktop, you have the option to connect through Bluetooth where you don't get that option on the website. There we go. And same thing from here on, I can make live changes. We'll make this into an L, or actually let's make this into a two. All right, and if I go to our browser here and just press Q, I get it to instead. Very simple. All right, and that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, just a couple other notes. I do hope that one day they add an on-screen keyboard to ZMK Studio. If you compare it to something like uh, Vile, you can see I have an on-screen keyboard here. I find that the on-screen keyboard makes assignments overall just a little bit faster and a little bit easier too. For example, let's say I wanted to make this uh, top row here back into QWERTY. Uh, all I'd have to do is just, you know, click the key I want to change. And it's pretty quick. Where with something like ZMK Studio, let's connect through Bluetooth. All right, I'm connected now. Let's say I wanted to change this uh, top row to numbers. So let me select Q. I have to go into here, scroll down, and select it. Same thing here. I have to go in scroll down and select it. And now, you know, without the on-screen keyboard, I can't really get my Q back unless I, again, go through the dropdown and find it because I don't have Q on my board anymore. Now you could say I could just go back, but again, I think having the on-screen keyboard is definitely very helpful. When referencing the list of capabilities, I didn't see the on-screen keyboard mention, so maybe it's just something that I missed or something that's not currently planned at this time. 
Another thing I found missing from ZMK Studio was the ability to configure my home row mods. And that actually makes sense because again, in the list of capabilities, you can see that configuring basic behaviors and configuring advanced behaviors is still a planned feature. So when I ended up updating the firmware on my board, that basically gave me a default key map. So I had to recreate my key map. I rebuilt my key map using the previous key map editor, but on the newest firmware for the board. I added my home row mods for the left and right side, uh, compiled the firmware, flashed the board, and that was it. So now I have my home row mods and I can still use ZMK Studio on the board. The custom behaviors that I created on the key map editor, like home row right and home row left, are actually carried over into ZMK Studio. You can see if I select my home row that I have a behavior called HML and HMR. These custom behaviors normally aren't listed here, and like I said, I don't think there's a way currently to create a custom behavior within ZMK Studio. But once they add these uh, capabilities, we should be good to go. And that's pretty much it. So I hope this helps anyone who is having issues getting ZMK Studio to work on their board. And a huge shout out to the ZMK Studio team for making it easier for us to configure our boards. Much appreciated. All right, see ya.